This is Amy X for Radio Free, Key West News. Today is day 113 of the BP oil spill. Crews are now 100 feet away from the final actions it will take to seal the well that has been pouring into the Gulf of Mexico. Celebrations are planned for Friday the 13th when if the well is successfully shut down, fishing, crabbing, swimming and shrimping will return to the Gulf area and we can pretend this whole thing never happened. Yesterday the Small Business Administration opened an office at the Florida Keys Community College in Stock Island to help business owners devastated by the BP oil spill. The new economic injury loan is a low-interest loan that will help local businesses get loans that they will never be able to pay back. This is much like the subprime loans that drove the United States to the brink of collapse in recent years. These new loans will let businesses stay open for a short while before the true impact of the spill is felt. The Travel Restriction Reform and Export Enhancement Act still has two House committee votes and a trip to the Senate but it looks as though we are heading towards swift and sweeping reforms in the United States' relationship with Cuba. The lifting of travel and food export restrictions appear to be imminent with the hope that President Obama will push the reforms through with, or without the blessing of Congress. In sports, the Tampa Bay Rise snapped a five-game losing skid behind a strong pitching performance by David Price with a 6-3 win over the Detroit Tigers, allowing them to move to within one and one-half games of the first-place New York Yankees in the American League East as the Yankees lost to the Boston Red Sox, 2-1. The Rays play their second of a three-game series tonight in Detroit beginning at 7 o'clock. The 2010 Atlantic hurricane season is heating up with several depressions forming over the past several days. Key West felt the remnants of one system as it made its way over our tiny island and into the Gulf of Mexico. That front now has a 40% chance of becoming a tropical cyclone as it makes its way towards New Orleans. A second low looks as if it will follow the path of Colin and head over the Bahamas and harmlessly out into the northeastern Atlantic. It is as if God is tossing bowling balls down a bowling alley but has only been able to produce gutter balls. The season is yet a pup still so be ready for a strike at some point this season. This is Amy X for Radio Free Key West.com's Key West After Dark. Don't miss Dash Rip Rock as they return this weekend to the Green Parrot in Key West for four special performances. Join us at 5.30 on Friday August 13th and 14th for the Green Parrot's Soundcheck Series. On both Friday the 13th and Saturday the 14th, Dash Rip Rock returns to the stage for 10 o'clock sets. Never a cover charge. No snivelling. No shit. The, the, that's all, folks.